guys, the other day I did a short showing you that I got this ginormous box delivered straight to my front door. I was sitting here and had a problem with my heel, and I couldn't even walk. So I was sitting on the couch, and I decided to buy some things, and this is one of those things that I bought. I also bought this little guy here, which is kind of like a Harley for people with a bad foot. But you lean on it like this, and you go, hey, I gotta go to the bathroom. Come on, man. And I also got these two fellas here, which I actually bought a while back at Spirit Halloween while I was on the 100 store tour. But if you want to see me blow these guys up, Mr. Frankenstein and Mr. Skeleton, you're going to have to come over to my other channel, That Nate Guy on Halloween. Subscribe, and you'll be seeing these blown up very shortly. But back to the matter at hand, this ginormous box right here. A lot of you were guessing as to what's in the box, and you are about to find out right now. Some of you thought that it was the giant Crouchy, some of you thought it was the Collector, some of you even thought that it was, I don't know, what something else that I didn't buy. <laughs> Hugs the Clown. Maybe you thought it was Hugs the Clown. It's not Hugs the Clown, I wish it was, because he's one of my favorites. But right now, we're going to cut this bad boy open, and you're going to get to see exactly what it is. Okay, we're getting there. Pretty dang good packing job here. Whoa! Yeah! Ooh, look at this! Like a sword. Like He-Man sword. Heck yeah. If you guessed the collector, you were right. <laughs> Holy crap. That's a huge box. Got stuff falling out the bottom. <laughs> okay, we got the instructions here. We got the power cord. I don't have a table here. I should go get a table. Okay, I got a table. All right, guys. So I actually bought this from someone on the Spirit Halloween fan group on Facebook. And that person has a channel on YouTube called Fearful Frights. I'll put a link right down there. You guys can go check them out. They have a lot of awesome Halloween stuff on their channel, including different animatronics, walkthroughs of Spirit Halloween stores, and their own personal Halloween hunt at their house. Very awesome. Go check them out, subscribe, and let's get down to opening the Collector. All right, guys, I am so excited. I have wanted the Collector for so long. Actually, I believe he just came out a couple years ago. And when he was in the store, I always loved him. He was one of my favorites, and I always regretted not buying him. But if you've been watching for a while, you know that I lived in my RV for two years while I traveled the country, so I couldn't buy anything big like this. But now I can. So let's get down to unboxing this fellow. What the heck, man? Okay, let's see. This is obviously a used prop. So it's not in the box how it would have come from the store. So it's not like organized in there, but here is like the torso part and the voice box and the power box. Let's see. Okay, we got one arm here. Look at that, look how big the hands are. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, this is probably a leg, I guess. And I guess this would be leg number two. And arm number two. Whoa, creepy fingers. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at that, guys. Holy crap. Look at that head. <laughs> I will collect you. <laughs> okay, looking good so far. Man, that guy is awesome. I cannot wait to see this all set up. We got a bundle of clothes here. We got the collector's bag. Yeah, okay, so there's a wire here. And from what I remember, whatever's in the bag actually moves around as if it's someone's soul or a small child. All right, and then we got the base here. Wow, that's a big one, man. Of course he is, how tall is he? 84 inches tall, guys. This monster here is literally is literally a monster. <laughs> I'm gonna have to tape that shut or something. Okay, so we got the base here, and we got this part, the box for the power thingy. Okay, so I cleaned up the box a little bit here and taped it on the bottom. Let's just take a look at it here. Originally, this guy was $249.99. Now, I think I paid two, I don't remember if I paid $260 or $290 for him. 
plus about $35 for shipping. So it was an awesome deal because there's actually one of these on eBay right now for $750. Wow. So thank you so very much, Ryan, for this awesome, awesome animatronic, which I've been wanting so badly. And I didn't want to pay $750 for him. So <laughs> here's the box, guys. Here's the front. Looks so awesome. This guy is so tall. The Collector from Spirit Halloween. 84 inches tall. Scary side-to-side -side motion while sack of unknowns writhes in terror. Red LED eyes and speaks four scary phrases. Infrared sensor, multi-prop remote compatible, battery adapter compatible, step pad, or try me button activated. So you can actually use batteries to control this guy. So there's the front, and there's the other side of the box. This is, in my opinion, one of the best looking boxes that they've had at Spirit Halloween. Look how scary he looks. It doesn't look like just a generic picture on the front. It looks totally awesome. Okay, so let's get down to it. Get our instructions here. Got the bag, we got the adapter, we got the rope. Two arms, the head, the clothes, whatever E is, the back form. We got the hip loop, the torso frame with the control box, the leg poles, and the base. So we have everything that we need right here on the table. We're not missing anything at all. Okay, I had to move some things around so you can see better. We got the box over here so you can see what we're building. We got the base right here. Insert the leg poles into each of the mounts located on the base. All right, so we got B and B. Air B and B. It goes like this. What in the world? All right, there's one. That doesn't seem right. It seems like they should be going the other way. But I guess we'll find out. There's no other way to do it with the thing where the little holes are or whatever. Attach the hip hoop to the torso frame with control box. You, sir. Arm. Arm. Ugh. Ow. Okay. Alright, let's do this first. Holes are on the back of this. Ouch. There's one. Why do I keep getting hurt? The collector is trying to hurt me. He wants to collect me. All right, dang, that guy's huge already and he's not even living. How dare you say I'm not living yet. Anyway. <laughs> All right, the hip hoop. Okay, so far so good. Step four, attach back form, part E. So I guess it goes on like that. Look, it looks like a big Easter egg. Kind of gives him like a hunchback back there. It's kind of strange. The hunchback of Notre Dame. Place the costume robe over the torso frame. All right, we got the rope, this thing. We got the robe. So how? There's such a big jumbled mess. Not even sure what the heck to do with it. All right, you go over there. Whoa! I almost broke my leg. This guy is really trying to kill me here. That is a big robe. <laughs> big robe for a big boy. Where's his hood? Oh, his hood is on his head already. Where's his arm? There's an arm pole. All right. <sighs> Lord almighty. How am I supposed to reach up over the top? What the heck? Ugh. Is that on backwards? Do I have it on backwards? No. Getting lost in all this spookiness. I think that's right. I might have this backwards. Right the right arm up the sleeve. So this is the one with the wire. This is the right arm. Sometimes you don't know if they're talking about like the right side as you're looking at it. That hangs over the arm. That's starting to make more sense. All right. <laughs> All right, so we got a wire here and a wire up here. What does this one connect to? Oh, collector. I'm gonna need to collect my thoughts after this one. I have to reach up in here blindly to get it put together. What the heck, man? Where is the... We got that on there. But what's with this wire? What the heck, man? Once you get the robe on, it's impossible to find the wires and see anything else that you need to see that's on the inside. Maybe it doesn't matter. Oh, 
you know, it's like near impossible to see how to clip this together once you have the robe on. And then there's more wires up here through the head. Oh, okay, all right, I'm starting to understand. Because his bag also has a wire, and that's probably what connects right here. Okay, we're getting there. Don't give up on me yet. Don't give up on me. Place the burlap sack with mechanism in the hand. This goes in his hand, and you have to... Where's the other? Okay. You have to just tighten his hand around it so that he actually holds it. And then you clip this here, something like that. All right. Attach head to the mounting bracket located on top of the torso frame. Okay. So, here's the head. So I was worried for a minute because I kept saying that I thought I might have the robe on backwards. And when it said about the infrared sensor, I thought, well, man, the sensor is usually like on the clothes. So that's what I was looking for. But it turns out on him, it's right there in his nose like a little buggy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got him a nerd. Head goes right there. Oh, you are a spooky fellow. And the wires are impossible unless I would use that little step stool that I have sitting over there but that would be too smart and too easy oh my gosh what goes to what all right there's one we got one. Oh, my shoulders are killing me I'm sweating like a hog up in this piece this is all because of you sir all right let's put your dress back down okay your tunic so next is we tie the rope around his waist Something like that, hang in there, make him look all spooky. This thing must just be something extra that he included. I don't know, it looks like it's supposed to be on him. All right, I guess that's how it goes. So let's get him plugged in. Once I take your soul, <laughs> I will die. I collect this now, unneeded flesh. To feed my army of demons, so we can hunt for more. <laughs> There's a force of pure evil here on this earth, more evil than I could ever dream to be. I collect human flesh to feed that evil. The more, the better. <laughs> Okay, so here he is, guys. Special because you're human. You're just raw meat for my demons to use. They're not building a better human. They're building a more powerful demon. <laughs> That's funny because I don't remember him saying that in the store. I'm sure he did, but all right. There's a force of pure evil here on this earth. More evil than I could ever dream to be. I collect human flesh to feed that evil. The more, the better. <laughs> Listen to that laugh. All right. In my pouch, I have a rare delicacy. I stabbed it. I hit it with a hammer. You think it would have the common courtesy to die? <laughs> All right, there's three. Once I take your soul, the body will die. I collect this now unneeded flesh to feed my army of demons, so we can hunt for more. <laughs> All right, I think that's four. Let's see what else, if he says anything else. You think you're special because you're human? You're just raw meat for my demons to use. Okay, yeah, we heard that one. Speaks several scary sayings with mouth movement. There he is, the collector. All right, hold on, let me turn this light off. Yeah, there you can see his his eyes a little bit better. The more, the better. <laughs> he is totally creepy, guys. All right, one more time. In my pouch, I 
much I ever read delicacy. I stabbed it. I hit it with a hammer. You think it would have the common courtesy to die? <laughs> okay, so you can see Once how his bag is soul, moving. The body will die. I collect this now unneeded flesh to feed my army of demons. So we can hunt for more. <laughs> All right, I got him turned down so you can hear me a little bit better here. But yeah, there he is. Pretty cool. The bag is moving here, but I think I would have to mess with it a little bit, turn it around so you could see it better, like from the front. Because looking at him right there, you can't tell very well that that bag is actually moving. Like, you know, whatever is in it there that he's talking about how he hit it with a hammer or something and it didn't die. <laughs> Some of the sayings these things have are so funny. Yeah, so you have to clamp the hand around the bag to actually hold it. So I would have to unclamp it, turn it around and clamp it again. And you can see that by doing that, it actually puts a lot of wear on the fingers, on the rubber that's on the fingers. So. If you do that too much, it could just damage it. But there he is, guys, from the box, all set up, pretty dang awesome. And he is huge, man. He is every inch of seven feet tall. All right, guys, well, there he is, the collector in all his glory, seven feet tall, totally spooky, and actually even more scary than just spooky. So he would be awesome to have in your own home Hunt. Once again, thank you, Ryan, for selling me this awesome animatronic. I will put the link to his channel on YouTube down below so you guys can go check out his channel and see what all he has as well. Guys, stick around because we have a bunch more animatronics still to put together. Make sure you subscribe and come back on Saturday nights and join me for Saturday Night Snack in a Movie where we make an awesome snack, we choose an awesome movie, we kick back, make the snack, eat the snack, and watch the movie. Peace!